everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and today's look is this fun, very glowy look. It's holiday season, so you want something that really makes you stand out, and people are like, are you a glow getter? Because you're so glowy. Glowy, glowy, glowy. Did I mention glowy? I love to be glowy during the holiday season. I think it's the perfect time. It's lots of parties, lots of stuff going on. So if you wanna know exactly how I created this look, then keep on watching. So I've started with already doing my complexion. I did my foundation, concealer, I did bronzer, my brows. Everything is ready, so I wanna dive right into my eyes. And with my first product, I will be using my NYX Cosmetic Prismatic Shadow in the color Bedroom Eyes. I really love it because it's gonna be really bronzy and I'm really gonna focus it on the crease, really smoking it out with my Royal and Lang Nickel Angle Shader Brush. It's gonna be really soft and really great for blending out the shadow. And what's great about this brush is that it has some wide parts, so if you really wanna focus it on the larger part of the eyelid, you can really lay this brush onto your lid to spread out as much product as possible. But if you want to define, you use the very top of the brush and you grab the product to really focus it into the crease or into the bottom lash line area. Since you wanna smoke it out, but you don't want such a heavy smoked out bottom lash line. You're gonna use that top part because it's so much thinner. So it's almost having like two brushes in one. And now for my second shadow, I'll be using a NYX Cosmetics Prismatic Shadow, but this is in the color Fireball. It's gonna be a great pop of pink right in the center of the eye. And I will be using my Mica Beauty Cosmetics Eyeshadow Brush. So I'm gonna dip right on into it. It's like this gorgeous rose gold. And I really wanna focus it on the middle part of the eye. You can just go back and forth to blend it out. And then with the very top of the brush, I'm gonna go right in the center of the lower lash line. And the color payoff on these shadows is really rich, so you can really build up the product without it feeling cakey or anything. So you don't have to do too many layers technically because they're so metallic. And that's one I already done. So now I'm gonna finish the rest of my eyes, add some mascara and some lashes, and I'll be right back. And now for lips, I will be using my Ciate London Liquid Lipstick in the color Pinup. And I like to make sure I'm very careful around the edges because you don't want it to bleed out into your makeup. So make sure you're taking your time, especially on the edges. On the inner part of your lid, you can really play with it. But when you're on the edges of your lips, make sure you're taking your time. So it looks nice and clean and crisp. And now to achieve the glowy night out look, we're gonna use our Josie Moran Illuminizer and our Ofra Cosmetics Bliss Eyeshadow Highlighter. First, let's start off with our Josie Moran. The reason why I wanna start with a liquid highlighter today is because I have some dry kind of texture on my cheekbone area, and sometimes powder tends to emphasize that, so I feel like if I use a liquid, I'll be able to really blend it in to where you won't see texture. So the reason why I like to use my finger with liquid highlight is because the heat from your finger actually really blends out the product evenly as opposed to a sponge or even a brush. It'll really blend it into your foundation, concealer, all these kind of creams you may already have on. The heat from your fingers actually blends it all together. See, so this is already one side with highlighter. This is without highlighter. Do you see the difference? Everything. Not everything, just yet. And now to snatch my nose and make it look very, very tiny, I'm gonna use my highlighter. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Bliss Highlighter Eyeshadow. I'm gonna get a small little tapered old brush. So I'm gonna make like an exclamation mark on my nose. I'm not gonna bring the highlight all the way down. And now I'm gonna highlight the brow arch just to give it a more lifted look. And now to really brighten and open up our eyes, I'm gonna bring that same highlight into the inner tear duct. 
So yeah, this eye is wide awake, ready to party, and this eye is still at home, sleepy, taking a nap. So let's wake her up. And I really like to emphasize my cupid's bow, so I'm gonna grab some of that highlight and really just layer it lightly on top of the cupid's bow. And if you wanna still give it a glowier look, you bring it onto the bottom. Then you just blend it out with your finger. Do I wanna be extra? I like to be extra. So, just right there. Ooh, it's so bright. And this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. Make sure you follow me at the Gabriel Zamora on Instagram. And you know what? This looks good. So I am getting ready to leave. So until next time.